I'ma have it one day. One day. We gon' Because you don't see the beast, it doesn't mean the beast isn't there. Be careful playing with somebody's kindness. They have tamed their beast. Can I have my sweater back? Can I have my virginity back? Sex fact, not having sex for a long time can cause stress, higher risk of heart disease, depression, and slower brain growth. Please open your eyes And let me be the first to ask If I can be your one
try to turn you a video instead of a voice note. Um, find voice notes would be awkward, but yeah, you have a cute voice by the way. But I just wanted to say I'm sorry for acting like a bit of a prat before. Um, I don't really date much, but tomorrow should be fine. We have a few drinks, a bit of a laugh. Um, I should say though, I can be a bit forward. If I like someone, I'm all about instant chemistry, so I will compliment you probably. Um, we'll try holding your hand. I may try to kiss you pretty soon on, so just be warned. Anyway, have a good evening. Here are some signs that you might be a Sigma male, also known as the rarest male who girls cannot resist. A lot of you might be Sigma, not even realize it. We live in a world of social hierarchy where alphas are at the top, then betas get the leftovers at the bottom. But one more who is at the top is the Sigma. One key sign that you're a Sigma male is if you refer to yourself as the black sheep, which means that you've always done your own thing. Some of your family or friends may view you as weird, but really it's because they just don't understand you. Another sign, and probably the biggest one, is if you are naturally an overthinker. Overthinking is constantly viewed as weakness, but the Sigma uses it for strength. It allows him to analyze himself, everyone around him, all of his experiences to the core, which helps him learn things that most do not. One other big sign that you're a Sigma male is that you talk a lot but not verbally it's your mind that's talking a lot which means that you're constantly in your head viewed by others you may be mysterious because you don't talk a lot due to always thinking which makes girls naturally want to be around you you know what normally you do when you get revenge on a dude you put sugar in his gas tank slash his tires bust the windows out his car throw bleach on his clothes fuck up his shit some kind of way but he didn't have shit <laughs> but what he did have was a brand new pair of Jordans he left at my house I know what I'ma do his name was Cornelius, so I went ahead and ate a gang of corn. And I got them Jordans and I'd squatted, I shitted right in them Jordans. I wiped off the edges and everything, put them back in the box, went over to his place. I was like, babe, we should go play basketball. Let's go play basketball. Put your new Jordans on. You're going to be the shit on the court you put them Jordans on. Put his foot in there. She was like, what the fuck is in this shoe? Oh my God, somebody shitted in my shoe. It's human shit too. It's corn on it. Corn all in my fucking shoe, who did this shit? And I was in the doorway like, yeah, nigga. All the shit you put me through, now you walking in it, motherfucker. Mom? What, honey? Rick had a mark show up on his hand. You know he has a lot. No, when I asked about Madison. I think you're just stressed and paranoid. You're imagining things. So when was the last time you saw Madison? I saw it this morning. I was supposed to pick her up, and then nothing. The family's all clear. Thank you for your cooperation. It's nice seeing you again, Rick. You too, Pete. Something's off. What do you mean? Rick knew the officer that questioned us. Maybe Snoop in Rick's room? He may have secrets. He's gotta have something in here. Try calling Madison's phone. What are you doing in my room? Nothing. You think I'm dumb? No, I, I, I... You're coming with me. Ho ho ho. Yes?